Now we will start this example what we were about to do yesterday. Okay, please take this uh, example. Let us see so that you know some of those rules what we have learnt probably slightly more clearer now. Consider the aqueous reaction A plus B going to R and S. This is the desired one. We have d c r by d t, you write there you know, on the opposite straight to this equal to 1 that is k value c a to the power of 1.5, c b to the power of 0.3, d c s by d t equal to again. So, both are in uh, units, units of the rate are given as moles later minute, okay, rate units. Good, this is the problem, then please write below for 90 percent conversion of A that is x A equal to 0.9, x A equal to 0.9 c r in product in m f r and p f r. So, I mean I can also ask uh, phi p, phi p is once you get c r, c r divided by c a naught will give you of course, that uh, yield 1 and uh, c a naught minus c a f will give you yield 2. Okay? Good. Yeah. Then uh, please write below, equal volumetric flow rates of a and b are fed to the reactor and each stream has a concentration of 20 moles per liter of reactant. Right? Yeah, two streams are coming with 20, 20 moles per liter, they join and then enter the reactor. So, what will be the actual concentration that is entering? 10 mole, 10 mole, that is why be careful about that. That is simple mistake, you do that in the exam and you think that you have done correctly. And if marks are not given, you think that a teacher is not giving marks. These are the very simple things, which you may not even know that uh, you know you have to take those two streams together. When two streams are meeting, then average will be, because here same concentration. If it is not same concentration, then accordingly you have to calculate. Okay, one is let us say uh, one third and another one is two third like that, then the concentrations again differ. differ. So, I am just warning you, these are the simple things where you may forget uh, you know in the examination and you will not forget in the examination if you do all the assignments, because that is experience. No? You are doing that, you, so you will come across already one situation. So, that is the reason. Okay. So, that is the one. and uh, uh, okay, I will write here C A naught, actual C A naught that is entering equal to C B naught equal to 10 moles per liter. Good? Okay. The definition of instantaneous yield, sometimes you can also write like this. So, that means C R by C A. Okay? Yeah. So, then uh, I can write also this one, we have this equation already d c a not s okay, d c a and this also can be written using because I know these two. Okay. So, actually a is now going to r and s together. So, these two rates will be added. Okay. Anyway, I think I will also write that d c r this is equal to d c r plus d c s. So, that you know you will not get so, then this is equal to, so now I have to substitute this and then cancel out. You tell me how much this will be? Take d c r and add these two again, take those two and then cancel out whatever possible cancellation. Excellent. C a by C a plus C b to the power of 1.5. Yeah. So, now let us take p of r. <coughs> P of R, what is the definition to find out uh, C R? Uh, integral C R F equal to integral uh, phi into d C A. See, this one d C R, I am writing d C R by d T. Then the other one is this one d c r by d t plus 
DCS by so then substitute DCR by DT here. Okay, and also these two added. Then you cancel out whatever is possible because 0 0.5, 0 0.5 will get cancelled there. 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 will get cancelled here. That is why you get 1.5 like that. Okay, yeah, good. So now this we have to integrate between C and R and Okay, so this is a CAF, right? So that means here I have minus CA naught CAF. Then phi value is this. This is a CA DCA by CA plus CB to the power of 1.5. DCA is integral. And how do I convert CB into A? Because I have to write CB in terms of CA, right? C is equal to C B. See, it is the 1 is to 1 and C B equal to C A. Now, you substitute C B equal to C A and then tell me. Yeah, initial concentrations are same. So, everywhere C A equal to C B. So, then you can still further cancel out that. So, you will have only D C A by, okay, let me also write because otherwise many people are still sleeping I think today. C i equal to C b everywhere, ah, C r f equal to C a naught C a f d C a by 1 plus C a to the power of 0.5. Now, this is what you have to integrate. Please integrate and tell me. You do not get live then? Direct. Oh, calci, that is why 2.85. <laughs> so, when you use calci, I will uh, look for exact uh, value. Okay, exact value is 2.86. Just 2.858 is it? <laughs> okay, good. Now, after integration, ah. C A square minus non 1 plus C A square. C, C A, you are telling us C A. C A ah. minus non 1 plus C A square. Yeah, yeah, but that solution I do not have, but I also have the final answer. 2.8. 2.8, 2.86 or 2.58? 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 
right and uh, this is 9 c i equal to 9 very good yeah c i equal to 1. So, then what is happening which reactor will give you the best uh, yield again you are getting confused yeah it is not minimization we have to maximize the area because we are talking about CRF right. So, for uh, MFR all this MFR and this one only for PFR. Yeah. Okay. So, actually th that is also uh, will be very easy if you are able to plot, but that means you know you must be artistic in drawing the graphs and all that. I just want to again point out, I do not know you would have just simply solved the problem, you would have got 2.86 and also 4.5, you could have closed your mind, but beyond that you have to think. In this case, why are you getting in a mixed flow reactor more conversion than plug flow yield? So, the orders. Which order you are talking? Uh, so, which, uh, CR, CR and that ratio. Which is more? Overall ratio for uh, C uh, S is less compared to C R that is C S is less order. See what is our rule? What is our rule in terms of concentration? You have to keep concentration as a when? When do you want to keep? When the order of desired reaction is more. Order of desired reaction. Okay? But here it is more or less? it is less because it is 1.8 and this is overall overall if you take this is 1.8 this is 2.3 that is the reason that is the reason that small difference okay <coughs> you know that's what you know when you are solving after solving after getting the value we have to also think a little bit no why i am getting this yeah you tell me no overall order of the reaction is uh, which is more the desired product uh, order is more, uh, better than the undesired one, yeah. then we have to maintain the more concentration. Very good. So, in this case what happened? It is reverse actually. It is yeah, it is less than the undesired uh, reaction rate. So, I mean reaction uh, order. So, that is the reason why you get here in MFR more value than PFR. Excellent. Very good. So, now uh, on your own there are many problems in uh, Levin's PL, uh, various nice beautiful problems. You have to solve, solve, solve. I can give anything in that also as surprise test in the final test, you know, next week. Well, we check individually about the reactants of A and e concentration. With respect to A, C A is one D C R by D C S. Yeah. And with respect to B minus one point five. So B should be as low as possible and A should be no, as low. No, no, no. What is that you are talking? No, to take you overall. Mm -hmm. With respect to A and with respect to B we are if we check. No, but what is the use? Because both the A and B both are participating in the reaction. DCR by DCS. DCR by DCS. Yeah, but that is you know you are talking now not yield, you are talking about selectivity. We are talking about with respect directly, we are trying to get this one you no know, uh, desired product itself. Okay. So he is now trying to write the other one, selectivity. But even then, you should get the same argument. You cannot get a different argument for that. It should be kept as low as possible for maximization of R. Not A again, you should write DCR by DCS. Okay, yeah. yeah. Ah. DCR by DCS uh, is not yield for us. It is not yield but selective. It is not, yeah, it is selective. Okay, yeah. So now, uh, what is the argument? If uh, DCR by DCS is, and uh, you should keep that value low or high, as high as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. So, for that, uh, for that a different uh, PFR with uh, distributed side streams. Yeah, A is as high as possible, B is as low as possible. Then you have side streams or you have another alternative mixture flow reactors with side streams. Okay? So, that is one. I think you know here you will have many many alternatives. I think this. Um, uh, Many people will not touch this multiple reactions, but there are many many things here. Particularly when you go to that Van der Fusse reaction and also Denby reaction, you will have lot of conflicts. Okay, but still our basic rules are same. When the desired rate is more, okay, for 
particular uh, desired product, then you have to maintain concentration as high as possible or undesired product if you want to keep as low as possible, if that rate is low. This be all, uh, the direction will not take place at all. As low as low as means, possible uh, means should be balanced. zero you put us, eh? reaction, should a should a reaction should happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But you know you have to only distribute that the concentration such that you know you have low whatever is required either low A is low or B is low depending on the situation. Lower than C A, yeah. So, this is very nice. Now, we have not talked anything about volume of the reactor till now, right. We are only talking about C R F, but uh, none of you asked was how do you calculate uh, tau or I also did not tell. I was been mentioning this all the time. Now, I would like to get what is the value for uh, the volume numerical value for this kind of multiple reactions. How do you do that? Like same, I have yeah, I think I am just only restressing the same thing, but let me take parallel reactions. We are talking about only parallel reactions all the time of a scheme A going to R and A going to S. Okay? So, here I have K 1, K 2 as usual epsilon equal to 0. Right? How do you get an equation for plug flow from this? Yeah, rate may be simply this is yeah d c r by d t equal to k 1 c a d c s by d t equal to k 2 c a and uh, minus r a equal to k 1 plus k 2 c a. Okay? Good. Now, for P f r, how do I get an equation in terms of volume, either tau or V by f naught? Same, same means what? You tell me. K is replaced by K1 plus What is the equation? I am asking final P f r equation. Ah, v by ah. Ah, now, tell me the equation. <laughs> C A and now integrate and tell me V by F naught equal to minus. Sir, V by F naught is equal to minus ln 1 minus X A. 1 minus? X A upon K 1 plus K 2 C A naught. Divided by K 2 C A naught. C A naught. C A naught. This entire thing. When you express it in terms of C A, you should have minus B C A by K C. But I am expressing in the terms of X A. What is wrong? I have written here D X A by minus R A. I have written this one in terms of C A. You convert that in terms of X A. Then only you have to integrate. Otherwise, write the equation in terms of C A and then again integrate. Whatever. So, if I write also the same thing uh, in terms of uh, e power minus k 1 plus k 2 tau, because it is constant density system we can write happily. Okay? So, that is the equation where you can calculate either volume or uh, this one and we can also do the same thing in terms of C r, in terms of r also. This one I have not done till now, I think I have to do at least once. Always we have been writing in terms of only reactants. Okay? Let us write this in terms of products, where uh, this is again plug flow reactor, where we have the same reaction we are talking. Even this, even this equation you got only by material balance. right? You take a volume and then what is entering, what is leaving, what is the reaction under steady state conditions, all that. So, we will write here, yeah, F R entering, we are writing now for product, one of the products, right, yeah, F R, because, uh, uh, yes, this is the same reaction, let me also have here A going to R, yes only. So, this is F R D F R. So, tell me what is entering, what is leaving, F R is entering. 
Fr plus Dfr is leaving. Fr plus Dfr is leaving. Plus, what is the reaction term? Minus R into V. Yeah, it's not plus here because we are now writing for product. Yeah, so minus R R into dV. This is dV. So Fr Fr will get they get cancelled. So Dfr equal to dV, R R into dV. Yeah. So now this also I can convert in terms of our usual expression because Fr. Yeah, Fr also can be written as V into Cr. You know, volumetric flow rate and uh, concentration. Correct, no? Yeah. So now differentiate this. Dfr equal to we are applying this one for constant density system. That is why V is constant throughout. Okay. Otherwise, that also becomes dV Cr into dV plus V into dCr. Yeah. Okay. But that is not. I mean, that is slightly more complicated. So this is what uh, we are taking. Now I have to substitute this here for Dfr. So, V d C R equal to R R d V. So, I will write here d V by V equal to d C R by R R. So, when we integrate this, this will be V by V which is nothing but tau. This is integral 0 to C R. D C R by R R. So, that is why I just wanted to this one uh, do once because every time you know you see even the limits also without knowing yourself you are telling C N R to C A. That depends on what equation you are now talking about. Okay? Yeah. Or this also can be written as uh, this equation before differentiating this will be D tau. Okay? D V by volumetric flow rate is equal to D tau. Okay. Yeah. Right. Then I have this side DCR by RR. DCR by uh, DCR by RR. So otherwise I write this one as that is also another expression which can be written. This is another format which is definitely useful. This is another format which is uh, I do not know whether you have seen that use now. Okay. That use I will tell you immediately so that you can do it. You can do that. What is the use? Now, d c r by d tau equal to r r. What is r r? No, in terms of equation. What is r r here? K 1 c. Here, here. K 1 c. Right. So, okay, this is equal to d c r by d tau equal to yeah um, I said k 1 c a and you have an equation for k 1 c, uh, c a here already right you have this one. So, now you can also get c r in terms of tau correct no. So, this equation c a by c a naught equal to this. So, now d c r by d tau equal to k 1 for C i I am substituting yeah for C i I am substituting C a naught into e power minus k 1 plus k 2 tau. This is integrable correct no because here I have tau this side also I have tau. So, now you find out C r integrated. So, that you will get as uh, k 1 plus k 1 plus k 2 k 1 k 1 plus k 2 yeah this is 1 minus e power minus k 1 plus k 2 into tau able to see or shall I write somewhere. Shall I write here? Yeah, I think I will write that final one here. Cr 
equal to k 1 k 1 plus k 2 1 minus there also I have missed it huh? yeah, here also I have tried C or not. You see this is beautiful I think I do not know maybe you are worried about I am making it more and more mathematical you have to worry after some time in CRE also you have to worry definitely, but you know what we can do is from uh, phi you can calculate CR correct no yield you substitute there and calculate tau for a new reactor. This is much beautiful, no? Right? I think it is not given in uh, Levin's sphere. I have taken this in some other book. Right? Or he has given. I think he has not given. Yeah. Yeah. So, this part has not been given. So, that is why this is another way of looking into. So, we are also able to write in terms of product where that may be that is slightly complicated than simple uh, C A to calculate volumes. But normally, what our idea is from the graph or from uh, analytical expression, you calculate C R F. Right? Now, you have to find out what is the volume for that CRF, for that yield. So, then go to this equation like this for every reaction you have to, you have taken simple reaction, the other one will be same procedure, but only complicated mathematics that is all. So, then you will have tau and because CR you know already K 1, K 2 you know, you should know definitely kinetics, then you can calculate what is tau. So, that is the volume of the reactor. Ah, that, the, the, those things definitely that means K 1, K 2 values you need. Right? Instead that is why instead of going through that is easier. Which one is easier? We get out right away, we write dxa by uh, minus r. That is you are writing in terms of a. Minus r. Yeah. No, dcr by r. Anyhow, if, if, if you need cr, we need uh, minus r. Minus r you need. Okay. But you know, there you are now based on, you are calculating based on conversion of a. Here you are calculating based on yield of r. Okay. I mean both should give the same value sir, tau should be same whether I use this equation, which equation, this equation or that equation. I am just trying to tell you there is another way of doing things okay. and also we have not written till now uh, an equation in terms of the products. So, that is why I think at least once or twice if I write this kind of new methodologies, then you will also be aware that yes this is also possible. Yeah, so this is over now, I think this is nice. We can also calculate from the C s and all that I think from material balance you know C s equal to C a naught minus C r uh, minus C a okay? that material balance I think all of you will be knowing that. Okay. So, now this is only for plug flow reactor what we have uh, written. Now, let us write for mixed flow reactor same parallel reactions mixed flow reactor. We have to write equations in terms of products also we have to write in terms of reactants. Reactants already you know, that means reactant entering, reactant leaving, reactant reacting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, the other one is product entering, product leaving and uh, rate of product forming. Okay, good. So, this is MFR now, parallel reactions, same reactions continued I will write that same reactions continued. So, what we do here is because like exercise if you do this I think then you will remember here I have volumetric flow rate, volumetric flow rate this is total volume here I may have C A naught C R naught equal to 0 usually C S naught also 0. So, this side I have C A C R C S. I can also write if I want you know in terms of F A naught all these F A's F A, F R, F S. Okay? Good. For parallel reactions, how do you write the material balance? Parallel reactions again to make you remember this is K 1, K 2, R and S. Okay. Usually, th that is the desired product does not matter. Right. <coughs> so, now M B for A steady state 
always you know we are not talking about any unsteady state. Okay, what is entering? For a, <coughs> I will ask one by one. Kalpana, where is Kalpana? Kalpana, what is entering here in terms of a? V into C N R. What are the chaya? What are the units of this? V into C N R. Most part. Excellent. Good. So next area, what is leaving? A leaving from the reactor. Huh? Excellent. V into C A. Okay. Good. Then what is reacting? Who will tell? Kalpana. Very good. Minus R A into. And what is minus R A here? K one plus K two. For this reaction, minus R A equal to K one, K two, C A. Right? Okay. Similarly, R R is K one C A. R S is K two C A. <coughs> right? So uh, this is one equation. Then for R, who will tell for R? I think this side. Huh? What is entering? Zero. Why zero? V into C A naught, C R naught, which is zero. Okay. That is zero. Okay, leaving V C R and plus reacting. Yeah, R R into V. That is the equation. And uh, for S, yes, same. Huh? How can I write same? I say. Okay. So this is again zero. C S naught V C S plus R S into V. <coughs> oh oh yeah very good very good minus very nice good good so these are the equations and then of course you can uh, write tau in terms of either this or this or this any equation you can use okay i think i will at least try here for this 1 2 3 <laughs> okay from 1 We can write C A by C A not equal to one by one plus this is four. Okay. For C R C R by C A not, we can write we can get that from those equations. K one tau. By okay, what should be for C S? Yeah, so these are the equations. Phi m, you can tell me C A by C A not. That is phi m one. One yield one. That is C A by C R by C N. C R by C N. Where is that? Three equation equations. Ah, okay. Then tell me two. <laughs> This one two is what I am asking is C R by C N not minus C A or C A F. Okay, if I take final, you are right. K one by K one plus K two. <laughs> okay, can you also try puja for five uh, p? <coughs> Plug flow. Now, do I have this equation for C R by C R not? Right. Anyway, I think we will record what uh, Pooja told. This is also K one. <coughs> Something wrong or what? What is this? I think T F R and. 
Is there something wrong? Because everyone is getting same, it must be right. Come from, you also got same thing? Ah. Same thing. Why? What is the problem? I think why? You should not get uh, for plug flow and mixture flow, same thing, no? Sir, anyway, so much amount of air reacts, so much amount of power will be So? Uh, so why I think it will be different in both the cases. But however, the same amount of air reacts, you will get the same amount of air. Whatever the reaction. Not logical, no, because I think uh, in, in plug flow the contacting is different and mixture flow contacting is the different. Conversion will, conversion will be uh, lower, sir, but the ratio will be the same. Order of desired and Yes. Ah, see, that is right. Again, the basic thing what we have learnt is when desired product or undesired you know product that reactions are having the same order concentration does not have any effect. So, that means whether mixed flow reactor or plug flow reactor concentration does not have any effect. <coughs> okay? So, that is the one. Okay? Rahul you would have told something I found out which I have not understood, but I <laughs> think okay? but you know that is the one concentrations are uh, the, the concentration they do not have an effect because orders are same. Okay? So, under these conditions you have to only try if you want to have difference. What do you try now? Second order. I mean increase not difference, you cannot have difference. Yeah, temperature you have to increase so that you can get more and more because concentration is not a parameter for you. You cannot play with concentration either high or low. So, that is why temperature is another one, but now temperature is again depending on uh, activation energy more or less you have to choose desired reaction has got more activation energy or uh, undesired product that reaction has more activation energy. So, depending on those values again you either you have to increase or decrease the temperature. Abdul what do you do if I have desired rate has more activation energy? Operated items. Otherwise undesired product high temperature, oh, I am sorry high energy then you have to have low temperature then only you will get comparatively better products. Uh, better, uh, better yield or than yes. Design. Okay, good, very nice, good. So I think this we will close now. I think we will stop and then. Uh